Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm answering question number eight from one of the old uh, C3 papers from June 2019. This is from the uh, old syllabus for C3, which now is P3. And this question is still very much relevant from exponentials. Um, it says a study is being carried out on two colonies of ants. The number of ants Na in colony A t years after the start of the study is modeled by the equation Na equals 3000 plus 600 times e to the power of 0.12t where t is a real number and t is greater than or equal to zero of course it's time and the t is in years. It says using the model find the time taken from the start of the study for the number of ants in colony A to double give your answer in years to two decimal places. So we want, to, we want to find the time it takes for this to become twice as much as it was before. So let's find out what the number of ants was when time equals zero in the beginning of the study. So when time equals zero, the number of ants is going to be 3000 plus 600 times e to the power of 1 point, sorry, 0 0.12. zero point one two times zero replace the t with zero t can equal zero so this is going to give you three thousand plus this will be e to the power of zero which is one so it's three thousand plus six hundred okay because this is going to be e to the power of zero which is one so that's uh, six hundred times one which is six hundred so you end up with three thousand six hundred that's the number of ants at the start of the study so we want to find the time taken for the number of ants. We want the number of ants to become double 3,600, which is uh, 7,200. Okay, we want, and we want to find what T is when the number of ants is 7,200. So I'm going to replace Na with 7,200. So I have 3,000 plus 600 times e to the power of 0 0.12 times t equals 7,200. Too many zeros. Okay, so I want to find the value of t which satisfies this equation. That's supposed to be a question mark. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 3,000 from both sides. So we have 600 e to the power of 0 0.12 to the power of t equals, that's 4,200. And then I'll divide both sides by 600. So, I mean, you can divide by 100 and get rid of the zero. So it's 42 divided by 6, which is 7. So e to the power of 0 0.12... Let me just do that properly. 0 0.12t. 0 0.12 times t is equal to 42 over 6, which is 7. So we need to solve this equation, which is done quite easily by taking the log to the base e of both sides, which is what we know as lin. So when we take the lin of this side, it becomes 0.12t. And we take the lin of this side, it becomes lin of 7. And the reason why it becomes 0.12t, just in case you're not sure, if I take, if I have 0.12t and I take the lin of this side, then I can use the power law. So this becomes 0.12t times the lin of e. And the lin of e means the log to the base e of e. Okay, so lin means the log to the base of the natural number, and e is a natural number, so it means log to the base e of e. This is what it actually means. Okay, and if you have log to the base of something of itself, it's always equal to 1, because e to the power of 1 equals e. So that's the reason why when you take log, the, the reason why we want to take lin of both sides is because we want to, uh, you know, release this t from the power. So we need to get rid of this. So we have to take log to the base of the power to which this is raised. So we take log to the base e, which is lin. So we take that of both sides. You can't just take it of one side, take it of both sides. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. And then the power law means it becomes 0.12 times lin e. And lin e is 1, so you end up with 0.12 on this side and lin set on that side. Just in case some of you need a bit of a brush up on the laws of logarithms and how to deal with that. I thought I'd just quickly go through that. So t, therefore, is lin 7 divided by 0 0.12 and then we can work out the value of t so we're going to have uh, lin 7 divided by 0 0.12 and that gives us 16.2159 
16.2159. How do they want the answer? In years to two decimal places. Okay, so you can say T equals 16.22 years. Okay, that's the answer to part A of this question. Now on to part B. And this is the part of the question that the person requesting uh, this answer was actually after. It was after this part of the question. So it says, show that dn, d, dna over dt equals p times na plus q, where p and q are constants to be determined. So this is what na is, as we know from the beginning of the question. That's what they told us. They've told us when we differentiate this, we're going to get that. So let's differentiate this. We have dn, dA, sorry, d, dna over dt. If I differentiate this with respect to t, differentiate this side with respect to t, and then this side with respect to t, you can differentiate each term separately. This is a constant, it becomes zero. This, now when you differentiate something e to the power of x, okay, if you differentiate e to the power of something, it stays as it is. If I differentiate this with respect to x, it stays as it is, it doesn't change. So this stays as 600 times e to the power of 0.12 t. However, okay, what happens is what's inside the function here okay is another function all right so for example if this was two d, d if you differentiate e to, differentiate e to the power of 2x with respect to x you're going to have e to the power of 2x and then you multiply by the differential what's inside the function so you end up with two times e to the power of 2x okay so when you differentiate uh, 600 e to the power of 0.12t it becomes 600 times e to the power of 0.12t but then you multiply by 0.12 you, different, you multiply by the differential of what's inside the function, that's from the chain rule. Okay, so now we're going to have 600 times 0 0.12. Um, that's going to be, I think that's going to be 72, is it? 600 times 0 0.12. That's 72, that's right. So that gives us 72 e to the power of 0 0.12t. Okay, that is the n a d t. Now, there's a little problem here. It's saying, show that it becomes P, N, A plus Q. Now, where do they come from? Where does N, A come from? Well, what we should do is this, because we can see that our answer is kind of like in the form of something added to and multiplied by e to the power of 0.12t. So what I'm going to do here, this is quite a, um, it's not that common, but it's, it, it, I have seen this type of question come up. And a lot of students don't know how to deal with it. Okay, I have to express my answer in terms of Na, and Na is this. So I, what I'm going to say is that um, 72 e to the power of 0 0.12t, okay, I have to basically, um, this has to be the same as P times Na plus Q. I have to make them the same. I have to make this the same as that, okay, I have to... You know, I have to make this 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 P N A plus Q has to be equal to this because this is D N A D T, right? This is D N A D T, okay, and this is D N A D T. They have to be equal to each other. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take what N A is, so I have 72 e to the power of 0.12 t, and I'm going to replace the N A for now with what it's equal to, which is 3,000 plus 600 e to the power of 0 0.12 t. Okay, um, so that's what this is equal to. Okay, and then I'm going to put plus q. This is p times n a plus q. p times n a plus q. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this. So I have 72 e to the power of 0 0.12 t equals, this is 3000 times p, plus 600 times p e to the power of 0 0.12 t plus q okay now this has to be the same as that remember now what i can do here is i can see that p 600 p has to be the same as 72 okay 600 p has to be the same as 72 because it's 72 times this and this is 600 p times that so i can work out what p is p is 72 over 600 okay so if i 
Work out what that is, 72 divided by 600. That gives me 3 over 25. So I can say P is equal to 3 over 25. So I have 72 e to the power of 0 0.12t is equal to, now that's 3,000 times 3 over 25. Okay, so 3,000 times 3 over 25 plus, and this is 3 over 25 P e to the power of 0 0.12t plus Q. Okay, so, um, sorry, what am I talking about? That's, that's 600 times um, 3 over 25 e to the power of 0 0.12 t plus q. Okay, so I've just found what p is. I know that p must be 3 over 25 and replace the p with 3 over 25. Okay, so this gives us, let's work out what this is, is 3,000 times 3 over 25 which gives us 360. So we say 72 e to the power of 0.12t is equal to, and um, that was uh, 360 plus, and this is going to give us 72 e to the power of 0.12t plus q. Right? Now, for these to be the same, q has to equal negative 360. q has to be negative 360, because we all, because we our answer is this 72 0 0.1 uh, times 0 0.12 times t and we want to get rid of the 360 so this must be negative 360 so we worked out that q is equal to negative 360 all right so now what we can do is we can um write our answer as in this form so we can say dna dt d, dna dt is equal to and we've got 3 over 25 times Na. So 3 over 25. 3 over 25 times Na minus 360. Okay, because we worked out what these are by um, equating this. So this is a bit of a weird type of question. All right, it's a bit of a weird kind of question. But um, basically, our answer, this is the correct answer for the differential of the Na dt. But they want it in this form in terms of Na. So we got to say, okay, this has to equal something times Na plus Q. So this has to equal P times, and I wrote down what Na is from the beginning, plus Q. And then I determined that because this is 72 times e to the power of 0 0.12t, and this is, um, you know, 600P times e to the power of 0 0.12t, these two must be the same. This must be the same as that. So this 72 must be the same as 600P. That helps us find what P is, which helps us find what this term is, which is 360. And then we can, you know, when we write it out like this, we can say that this, if this has to be the same as that, then this 360 has to cancel out with this Q. And so 360 minus 360 is zero. So this must be minus 360. So we worked out the value of Q. So now we know what P is and when we know we know what Q is, we can then rewrite it in here. Instead of P, I write 3 over 25. And instead of uh, Q, I write negative 360. And there's the answer, okay, for this question. So I hope that was clear. It's a bit of a weird one, okay? It's a bit of a strange one, um, but they want us to express the answer in terms of NA. All right, so that's what we've done here. <coughs> and we've finished part B. This was a question that the student actually wanted specifically me to answer, but of course I want to be complete, so I answered part A, B, and I'm also going to answer part C so that I've answered the whole question. All right, so part C of this question, it says the number of ants NB in another colony, colony B, that was colony A that we were looking at first, T years after the start of the study is modeled by the equation NB equals 2,900 plus C times E to the power of KT, where T again is a real number and T is greater than or equal to zero, where C and K, K are positive constants. According to this model, there will be 3,100 ants in colony, colony B one year after the start of the study and 3,400 ants in colony B two years after the start of the study. So we got to show that K equals lin 5 over 2 and find the value of C. Okay, so now we have NB, the number of ants in colony B, is modeled by 2,900 plus C E to the power of KT. 
They've told us when time is one, one year after the start of the study, the number of colonies, uh, number of ants in colony B is 3,100. And when time is two, two years after the start of the study, the number of, colony, number of, uh, number of ants in colony B is 3,400. Okay, from this we can form a pair of equations. We can say <coughs> that when T equals 1, you have 2,900 plus C e to the power of t is equal to 3,100. And uh, when t is equal to 2, you have 2,900 plus c e to the power of, now t is going to be 2, two so that's, that's not be, sorry, that's going to be a k here, not t. Excuse me, that's supposed to be e to the power of 2, uh, sorry, e to the power of k. Okay, because when t is 1, so that's going to be k, not t, k, t is equal to 1. So they'll replace the t with 1. And this is going to be t equals 2. So we replace the t with 2. So it'll be 2k. And that's equal to 3,400. Okay, if we take these equations and simplify them. So if I subtract 2,900, so I end up with c e to the power of k equals, that's 3,100 minus 2,900, which is 200. And I have c e to the power of 2k equals 3,400 minus 2,900. That's going to be 500. So I can call this equation 1, and I can call this equation 2. Now, I can eliminate the c's here very easily. This is a nice, easy type of question. You can eliminate them by dividing. If I take equation 2 and divide equation 1 by it, I end up with c e to the power of 2k divided by c e to the power of k equals 500 over 200. That leads me to the c's cancelling out. And when you divide two numbers in index form with the same base, you subtract the power. So this is e to the power of 2k minus k equals 5 over 2. So e to the power of k equals 5 over 2. And we have to show that k is equal to lin of 5 over 2. So again, we want to solve for k. So we need to, to get k uh, out of its trap of the power. We're going to take lin to the base of what the k is being raised to, which is e. So lin to the base e is lin e. So that ends up giving you k equals lin of 5 over 2, which is what we had to show. Okay, so there's part one. And then for part two, it says find the value of C. So you can simply just take our value of K and use one of these two equations. If I use equation one, I, I can say that um, C e to the power of K is equal to 200. So therefore, C is equal to 200 over e to the power of K. Now, if you have e to the power of lin, 5 over 2, these two are basically inverses of each other. They cancel each other out. So this is going to be 200 over k, basically. Okay, they cancel each other out. So you're left with whatever's in the, um, you know, whatever this is. This It's going to be 5 over 2, okay? So it's not actually going to be lin 5. It's going to be not k. It's going to be 5 over 2, whatever's, in the, whatever's inside the lin function. So this is going to be 200 over 5 over 2, because this is 200 over e to the power of, lin 5 over 2 so it's not okay it's, it's 200 over 5 over 2 that's what it's going to become so you end up with 200 times 2 fifths because when you divide something by a fraction you multiply it by its reciprocal so 5 goes into 200 40 times that's going to be 80 so there's the answer okay c is equal to 80 so we found the value of k and the value of c and that concludes this question. Okay, so there's the answer to part C of question 8. And that concludes question 8. The main question that was being asked by the student who asked me to answer this question was part B. I hope that was clear. Um, other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. And I answer these older papers by request. So if you do have a question from this paper that you want me to answer, please do request it, and whenever I get time, I will do so. Other questions from the topic of exponential and log logarithms from P3 can be found in the playlist that will appear. The, the link appears over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here, and the link at the top here will take you to a video which explains how you can use my channel effectively for what you are trying to find. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.